What it do and what it ain't. I'ma let y'all know what I really think. This your boy go about short. Let me get straight down to business. Hey, I need everybody to keep hitting them cash apps, man. Mag promo. I appreciate every donation. M A G P R O M O. Keep them coming in. Help me uh, grow this channel to fifteen thousand plus uh, subscribers, man. I'm gonna keep bringing you good quality content. Today we finna talk about C M G X label mate Z Zilla, and you know what I mean. He has something to say about a lot of situations and he been holding back for a little minute but since Dolph been gone for a year he done spoke out man so make sure you smash that notification button man so you always been in the loop every time I drop a new video and like I said hit that cash out mad promo and you know what I mean let me get straight down to it though well you know Zilla, he said R.I.P. Yo Gotti you know what I mean if you don't believe me go look at his Instagram it's up on the Zilla, and you know, he got the blue check. He said, you know, R.I.P. Young Dolph, and he was like, a lot of people want him to talk about the Yo Gotti situation, but he ain't ready to really speak on that, but them cats far gone from his situation. He doing shows independently. You know, he even got a couple of videos out right now, and they, you know, they going ham, you know, and you know, he working with a whole bunch of new people. From 2015, all the way up to 2018, man, he was grinding hard with CMG. He was helping build the label, him and Snooty Wild and shit. He was the first generation, and uh, he was like, man, when these new niggas came, he just didn't fit in. And he from South Memphis anyways. He the landlord. So, you know, as always, uh, respect the young Dolph, you know what I mean? Because a lot of them other niggas, they was from the North anyways, but... Everybody fell out with each other, man. That was down with the old CMG. You know what I mean? To help build a label and shit. Money got fucked up. And Zillazilla say, yo, Gotti tried to blackball him. You know what I mean? Because they had some type of misunderstanding, some disagreement. You know what I mean? Because yo, Gotti really got him out the streets because he was hot. He was blowing up. He was in all the showcases and shit. And he was spitting that fire shit. And, you know, uh... Them niggas just grew apart, man. Black gangs, black youngster, uh, and a whole bunch of other people started coming to the label, and shit started switching up. And you know, Zilla wasn't feeling that shit. You know what I mean? Cause Zilla was a real creator. You know what I mean? He had that song, Mama Always Told Me, and he knew that was a big song. He supposed to blew up with that song, but he always was getting uh the uh stop button pushed on his records and shit like that. He was more like a mixtape artist. You know, all through the mixtape uh, scene, he was blowing up. Millions and millions and millions of views and shit, but he never really got no money out that shit. You know what I'm saying? He was able to save up a little cheese, but that money gone, so he gave him a new bag. So you're going to see more Zilla, but you ain't going to see CMG nowhere because he the South uh, Memphis landlord. And, you know, he ready to talk, though, but I just want to keep watching him see if he say something, you know what I mean? Because, you know, he kind of sad about the whole situation, you know what I mean? But that's enough on Zilla, peace of mind.